Hi, I'm James Chow. Before the China Current, I anchored the news on television, interviewed world leaders, and reported on the ground as major events unfolded. Which is why I was fascinated when the world's first virtual news presenter was unveiled in China a few years ago. He uses artificial intelligence to mimic people like me and our voices, lip movements, and facial expressions. The result is not completely natural. After all, nothing quite replaces a human conveying human emotion. But an AI newsreader can work around the clock. The virtual presenter made his debut at the World Internet Conference, and since then, an AI female anchor has appeared on screens with a focus on breaking news and current events. Innovations are happening all the time, like the video on the China Current showing robots in shopping malls and supermarkets. But now the first AI college student has enrolled for class. Appropriately, Hua Zhebing is a student at Tsinghua, not only one of the world's best-known universities, but also where the research team who created her is based. Tsinghua has confirmed that Zhebing is officially enrolled as a freshman in, of course, the Department of Computer Science and Technology. She introduced herself on social media, demonstrating both a speaking and singing voice. But what makes her truly unique is her human-like ability to learn and develop through text, visuals, graphics, images, and more. The research team that created Jubin says she can learn facts and figures, and also poetry, drawing, and programming. Her human professors will guide her education and have a detailed curriculum underway. In her freshman year, Jubin will be taught to read widely. She'll also learn to detect hidden patterns in data. The faculty hope she will achieve an ability to innovate, and is a longer-term goal to interact with a level of emotions that make us humans distinct. Tsinghua wants Jubin to contribute to the student community so that her learning is not in isolation, but adds value to the young people who study alongside her. What they haven't clarified yet is whether she'll need to submit any physical papers like her fellow students in order to graduate. The technology that powers the world's first AI student is called Wudao 2.0, a trillion-scale intelligence system with the parameters to match. Forbes magazine describes it as bigger, stronger, faster AI from China that surpasses GPT-3, an autoregressive language model to produce human-like text. On Reddit, there's already anticipation on what a next-level Wudao 3.0 could achieve. And how this will compare with a natural, trained human brain. For now, Jubin needs only focus on her academic studies. What she shares with millions of students today is that her time in college comes during a global pandemic. Who knows? The class of 2025, the year she's expected to graduate, could be a defining moment not only for innovation but the ways in which it can improve our fragile world and its consequences. I'm James Chow. You're watching the China Current. Follow us on social media at the China Current.